Hello everyone, so today we're gonna look at a problem from determinants. The question is find the coefficient of x in the function f of x where f of x is given in the form of determinant that is 3 cross 3 determinant and here a of i and b of i, i is varying from 1 to 3 are positive real number. That means a1, a2, a3 and b1, b2, b3 are positive real numbers. So let's start. Now our function f of x is given in the format of 3 cross 3 determinants. Now in 3 cross 3 determinant we will be having in total 9 elements that is the first element is 1 plus x whole raised to power a1 b1 similarly the second element is 1 plus x whole raised to power a1 b2 similarly the last element that is ninth element that is 1 plus x whole raised to power a3 b3. Now our objective is to calculate the coefficient of x here in f of x. So the first method is I can use a brute force method that is, I'll open f of x that is 3 cross 3 determinant directly and I'll find the coefficient of x. But if we open the determinant that is 3 cross 3 and if you use brute force to find the coefficient of x, that'll take a lot of time. So we'll be developing a logic and I'll explain the logic in this slide. Then we'll be using the same logic to calculate the coefficient of x in f of x. So for example, let's say one function f of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 2x square plus 8x plus 9. This cubic function is given and I have to develop a logic to calculate the coefficient of x. So we'll do one thing, we'll calculate the derivative of the function that is f dash of x. f dash of x will be equal to 9x square plus 4x plus 8. Now we'll do one thing to find the coefficient of x. We'll do one thing, we'll put x is equal to 0 and we'll calculate f dash of 0. We'll put x is equal to 0 in f dash of 0 that is f dash of 0 will be equal to 8. And as you can see once you put x is equal to 0 in f dash will get coefficient of x and coefficient of x as you can see this constant term that is 8. So it is equal to 8. Suppose if I ask you coefficient of x square now for that we'll develop one more logic that is we'll calculate f double dash of x. So f double dash of x will be equal to 18x plus 4 as you can see. Now here we'll do one thing in order to calculate the coefficient of x square we'll put x is equal to 0 in the double derivative that is f double dash of x. So we'll get this as 4 and 4 as you can see is not the coefficient of x square and where are we making the mistake that is if we differentiate x square then 2 will come outside as well as 1 will come outside. So we have to divide by 2 factorial in order to get coefficient of x square that is 2. Similarly if I ask you coefficient of x cube to get the coefficient of x cube we have to calculate f triple dash of x that is 18x sorry 18 and if you put x is equal to 0 in the triple derivative we'll get this as 18 but 18 is not our coefficient of x cube as you can see here so we'll be getting 18 divided by 3 factorial so the answer is as you can see 3 3 is our coefficient of x cube so we'll be using the same logic to calculate the coefficient of x in f of x in the next slide now in the previous slide we have learned the logic how to calculate the coefficient of x in any polynomial. So we'll be doing the same thing because we know f of x will be a polynomial once you open this 3 cross 3 determinant. Now we'll be doing the same thing, we'll differentiate this f of x. Once we get f dash of x, we'll put x is equal to 0. And whatever the value of f dash of 0 will be with the value of our coefficient of x. So I'll be differentiating this function f of x that is in the form of 3 cross 3 determinant. So I'll be differentiating row wise. That means f dash of x will be equal to, so I'm differentiating row wise that means I'll differentiate first row and I'll keep second and third row intact. This way I'll be getting three determinants. So first determinant will be this, I'm writing the row 2 and row 3 that are intact. So 1 plus x whole raised to power a2 b1. Similarly 1 plus x whole raised to power a2 b2. Similarly 1 plus x whole raised to power a2 b3. Similarly row 3 is again intact. That is 1 plus x whole raised to power a3 b1 and 1 plus x whole raised to power a3 b2 intact 1 plus x whole raised to power a3 b3. Now let's talk about row 1. So row 1 I'm not going to write the elements. Some value is there and I'll tell you in the end why I'm not writing the values because there will be no use. Similarly second determinant will be I'm differentiating the row 2. Some elements are there. Some differentiation is there but I'm not writing. Again I'm not interested here and you'll see why in the end I'm not writing this row 2. Similarly row 1 and row 3 I'm keeping intact. So that is row 1 intact and row 3 intact. Similarly in the similar fashion I'll get the third determinant by differentiating the third row. 
that are some values are there again I'm not writing I'll tell you the reason and row 1 and row 2 I'm keeping intact now let's put x is equal to 0 in f dash of x in order to get the coefficient of x so we'll be getting f of f dash of 0 f dash of 0 will be once you put x is equal to 0 in row 2 and row 3 you'll see what you'll get so if I put x is equal to 0 here we'll get 1 raised to power something and 1 raised to power something exact 1 raised to power something is 1 so here you'll be getting first row some values again I'll tell you the second row will be 1 th 1 1 and third row will be the elements are 1 1 1 plus let's write the second determinant similarly second determinant will be row 2 has some values that I'm not interested in and 1 1 1 first row elements are 1 1 1 third row elements are 1 1 1 similarly third determinant in third determinant we'll be getting first row as 1 1 1 second row 1 1 1 and third row some elements are there now as you can see there's a property of determinant if two rows are identical then the value of determinant will be 0 so first determinant is 0 similarly in similar fashion second determinant the row 1 and row 3 are identical that means the second row is sorry second determinant is also 0 similar fashion the third determinant is also 0 that means f dash of 0 will be equal to 0 and that's why I didn't calculate the difference de the derivatives of first row second row and third row so here our final answer is coefficient of x in f of x will be f dash of 0 and f dash of 0 is equal to 0 that is our final answer and that will be all